Walking in. It's a beautiful day as per usual while we're filming. <laughs> and I see over there, there's some really beautiful ferns. So we'll get to that momentarily. Try not to fill people's faces. They are pretty. Yeah, man, these are, are gorgeous. I'm probably wrong about this. My first instinct is to say that's a Kimberly fern. I'm not sure. But man, if I had a front porch, I'd be wanting to put some of those on it. A pretty boy, and that's a begonia in her hand. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. I love the mixed colors. All right, we are entering the garden center. Let's see what they have in store for us. Mom and I just stuffed down some peanut M&M's about the road. It's so dry. All right, looks like some more of those gorgeous ferns that we saw outside. Let's see, down here we have a nice little selection of things. So let's just go around, Mom. Okay. So here's some Hawarthia. And then here's a uh, golden pothos and uh, palms, I believe. Golden pothos snake plants. Um, don't know what that is. Let's try something. What? I'm gonna get you the camera, and okay. you follow me. Here's a black ZZ raven. Yeah, um, right here, black ZZ right there. Yeah. Try to figure out. It's, it's a bit of an experiment this time. This is the first time we're trying to do it this way. We'll have to experiment to see. I want you to be close enough to hear my voice, but then far enough away to see. Yeah. So anyway. That's cute. Here's a peperomia teardrop. And here's a philodendron birkin. That Ooh. looks like a green. They have global green pothos global here. Global green pothos. Oh my god. So a big old leaf on that pothos right there. Oh wow. Yeah, look at this. This giant. That's one Dang. giant leaf. Look, look, we got that one. This yeah, one. Syntaxis trivia. I do like watermelon peperomia. Little leaf figs here. And then golden pothos and green easy. <gasps> oh my green gosh. Easy. They do have a Baltic blue. Oh, I'm getting that. Okay. And I'll try to try to pick it up here. Squeeze my abs. We've been looking for this, y'all, and have not found it anywhere until right this moment. A Baltic blue pothos is similar to a jade pothos, but as you can see, it has finnies. Like Monastera? Yeah. Ah, see, I did learn a word. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to find this. And it's 1896. So not bad for a big full plant. No. And I know it's going to be easy to care for and easy to propagate because it's an ever primdom. Lily's been wanting this forever. I've been hearing about it. I didn't know what it looked like. But look, it's sort of like the Swiss cheese plant-ish. Over here we got succulents you know normal succulents i don't know the names of them all i'm gonna just skim across the top seven because they all look really but good the spiky ones i know are called Hawarthia, but the rest of them well actually this might be a bear claw what happened in a recent shopping video is that i found a calicoe that Sorry, I'm trying to talk and take this out at the same time. I found a Kalanchoe that was really similar to Bear Paw, but a little bit different. Ooh, okay. And I thought it was Bear Paw, and I kept calling it Bear Paw the whole video, and then I realized when we got home, it's a mother of thousands, not a Bear Paw. I might get this too, because this is what I thought I was getting that one day. And it's so cute, it's fuzzy. It's adorable, and it's got that tall piece on it. Like, let me get where you can see how tall it is. And you guys, yeah. I'm going to just let you know that I'm having like a plant me Ashley and Nick Pelleggi phase where I don't even care about plants that are really expensive and hard to care for and yada yada. 
I just want things that are cute and cheap and simple and going to be really rewarding. I'm going to get down and just show down through here that they, all these succulents look yeah, so healthy. We've got some really full, beautiful jade plants and some aloe too. Yeah, lots of, all these succulents just look so healthy. I guess we should try to get on the other side here. Okay. I don't know if you can fit. Uh, might need to go around the other way. <laughs> Wheelchair probs, follow me. <laughs> so we just, it's going, they're going to know there's a rookie back here. <laughs> so bonsai trees, I guess that's what these are. Okay. And then cute. here's a little Venus flytrap and we got a bunch more of those down here. Did y'all know that Venus flytraps are native to Wilmington, North Carolina? And we live in North Carolina, if you are new to my channel. So that's fun. We got more Global Green. Yeah. We and got... everybody will remember that Global Green is the, the dead one we got at Target and brought it back to life. Yes. So now we're seeing some pretty healthy ones. Hyacinths. Yeah, they're, they're about ready to plant in the ground for next year, I think. Look at this cactus. That's cute. For $13.97, that's actually not a bad price. These two big old cactus boys. We got some firecracker agglutinemas. We got another uh, Peperubia teardrop. We got some Philodendron Birkins. More some green. More green cactus down there. We got some snake plants right here. I sometimes I forget the exact variety. Uh, we got a prickly boy back here. Yeah, it's so cute. It almost looks fake. It's so perfect. And some more down here, too. Oh, and look, I think there's more Baltic blue right there. Oh, it is. Yeah, we might have to make sure that I get the there's best two. specimen. There's two of them. Okay. Okay, and look right here. This is Calathea orbifolia. These look a lot prettier than mine at home. And what is that one? Is that a ZZ? Yes, a green ZZ. Okay. Oh, here's another one. There's three right here. Oh. See, there's some cute little like coxcombs and things which you would plant like on your patio. Everybody's got springy fever around here. We want to plant stuff, but it's still a little bit too cold at night. Okay, now follow me again. Over here. Oh my we gosh, got they got the beautiful cat colors. Cat. They look like Easter eggs. Yeah. Oh, look, they have little flowers on the flower. I mean, maybe I'm not saying that right, but you get the point. That's the cool little looking. bloom has little, the little bloomy ball has little baby bloomy balls on it. Got you. They're so pretty. And some of these have variegated. Look, this one has yellow. They show up really good, the yellow ones on the orange ball. And look, it's a pink one. Look, and, and pan over here too. I'm coming. Oh, they, wait, these look like Easter eggs with a flower on top. Uh, They're so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm stunned by some of these Ooh. flowers. And, and look at the, the one with the purple. purple. Oh, <laughs> that is so that's cute. That's the same one. I saw this one over here. Before I, I didn't see that one. I need to make another succulent tray and get some stuff like this. Yeah, these are uh, golly. These are so gorgeous in oh the my colors. Gosh, wait, hold up the camera. There's a bunch of more indoor plants over there. We did Off good. Off we go. <laughs> okay, Off we and, go, and boo. Here, here's some violets. Here, here's some kind of snake, snake plant. plant. Look at the violets beside of you. African violets. Oh, they look a little worse for the wear but they they just need a little tlc we went to a different walmart the other day that was smaller and there was like nothing there so i didn't know what to expect look we got a bunch of casualties are these rex begonias probably this is what all of my rex begonias turn out to look like jades yeah, I, I'm not good with succulent names, so I can't really tell you the difference. That's a nut more a global green, right? Yeah, look at those long Ooh, vines. that was really healthy. Wow, well, if you live in North Carolina, 
The Reedsville Walmart has blue and green. I'm, you go that way and I'm gonna swing around this way and get some footage of some of these. These are pretty. Yeah, let, let me follow you. There's some different bakia and some orchids. And, and a, 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 lily. a happy, happy lily. A lily <laughs> with the <a> lily. <laughs> you gotta love it. Multiple times in a row. Lily, Lily, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> this is a rubber tree. What do you call it? A ficus ruby, I think. Then some little bamboos. Pepperomia. The name escapes me. Some kind These are of pretty. These are cute, them little spiky ones. Yeah, spiky that, babies. I think that's actually a kind of aloe. Oh, cool. Speckled. I'm gonna call it speckled aloe. I'm giving it my own name. These are, uh, you call them brom bromia? Bromelia. Bromelia, okay, you're, I was close. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it. Got an aglaonema. I think that's an aglaonema cutlass. <laughs> or aglaonema cutlass and firecracker aglaonema. And, huh, is this also, yeah, this is a cutlass. It looked different. From the top, and then from the side. Look, they, the, again with the Easter egg colors. Look up here, the pinks and oranges and reds and purples and yellows. Here's another ruby rubber tree, ruby ficus. Um, I can't remember what these are called. I don't know. And then some green zzs of various sizes. This is interesting. Yeah, I don't know who that is either. Lily, is this Monastera? They're supposed to be yellow. Is that what you're excited to see? Well, the, the yellow is not good. That means it's probably over water. But I was excited to see Monstera at Insertii at Walmart. And a pretty good price. $18.96 for a big, big plant. And they grow fast and they're easy. We got some more succulents, some a couple of ferns, a rex begonia. A whole slew of pretty golden pothos there. These are exciting. These are a little rare, so to speak. Is a Raphidophora something. Is a shingler. And they just call it shingle vine on the label. So that's fun. This is pretty with the little pink speckles. Pink and peachy. Yeah, I think that's a dipping bakian, maybe. Oh, I they're blooming. I love that big leaf aglutinema. That's gorgeous. Yes, and I'll show you another one right here. Uh, these are blooming, though. Look at the little pods. Oh. I didn't know that bloomed. See, here's one. There's two. I'm going to get where you can see two of them. They have a pod that's about to be some kind of flower. Hey, hey look, there's strawberry begonia, I yeah. think. Over here, we got some more of those pretty speckly Diffenbachia. Or maybe that's an aglutinema. No, that's an aglutinema. Look, here's, here's more of those little pods I was telling you about. That one you can kind of see where it's opening up. I can't, I'd love to see. I'm going to have to come back over here just to see what these look like when they fully open. Yeah. They're gorgeous. And look over here, some really beautiful anthurium. Mine is dying, you guys. I gotta get another one. <laughs> well, well it happens. But it maybe, happens. maybe I'll just take it as making room for more. Oh, this is pretty little fern, little baby ruffledy fern. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know what these are either. They were tulips, I think. That are they've bloomed and now they're ready to be planted in the ground. We've seen everything they had to offer here. So now we're gonna compare the Baltic blue specimens, try to get some soil, see y'all back in the car. And I'm gonna pan around and show they got some big, if you need patio containers, they have some large ones. The prices aren't bad because they're the, the plastic, but uh, for for outdoors and just for seasonal. I think they're pretty. Alrighty, we had a much better day than I even anticipated. Because first of all, they have Claire's 
headband. I only bought like 10 hair accessories, <laughs> probably more. 12, but who's counting? <laughs> and, and then the plant section was so good. They had so many good things. And it was the first time that I've ever run into Global Green and Baltic Blue in person. I've seen everybody run into them, but I haven't until today. And except for the time we found the Global, global Green that was dead. As far as healthy ones, with like pretty little runners coming off, they looked gorgeous. Yeah, that was so awesome. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that. We'll have to come back, hit this spot again sometime soon mm -hmm. and see what what might change in the future but good to know this is a great location and the the lady inside was so nice we had a real nice chat with her so oh yeah we, so friendly. we talked to the the cashier at the garden center for like 20 minutes about plants and stuff um thank you for watching to the end of the video as i said in the beginning please like this video subscribe to my channel and one more thing wherever you are whatever your circumstances Bloom where you are planted, planted honey. honey. See you in the next one. Bye.